friends welcome to my channel we are going to be looking at a brand new lipstick launch from hourglass and this is called a velvet story so uh if things look a little different i'm working with a different lighting today so yeah hopefully this is good so this retails for 36 or 34 i'm not entirely sure but in 30s price range uh, with discount I got it during the Sephora sale and I know like long story short it's just things kind of got lost and got delayed and finally very late I got my product so um, this is called velvet story lip cream so I got this 20% off and I think I paid like 31 or something like that so this is in the shade indulge they have like six or seven shades i think they do have they don't have like a very wide variety but anyways uh 34 or 36 dollars and this is three you get 3.6 grams of product so this is a liquid lipstick so it says velvet Sto story lip cream and it is um cruelty free and where is this made made in usa yeah so that's what we have in the box we do have like the list of ingredients here so before we start i wanted to also like uh tell you that there is a little bit of a tiny bit of a tutorial at the end of this video after the review so you can see how i got this look it's a very uh warm tone look on the lid and like a very very like popping cool toned like um inner corner highlighter it's like i really like this look and it's been created using cleona's um iridescent multi-chromes so you you can take a look at how the, the look turned out and what else um, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell if you haven't already and yeah let's get started so i got the shade in indulge so it's like a it's it's a peach color so this is what it looks like it looks like a medium deep peach color right so i thought that it would be like a shade that i might not need like a lip liner and it's true to an extent oh and i also have similar formulas that i feel in are uh, that are in my collection like as a com as a comparison so this is color pops um it's like look at it it's so old but it's my favorite favorite formulas color pops um satin liquid lipstick and i don't think they have this anymore but in case you have this in your collection this is my f like one of the best formulas i've ever used and this is YSL's uh, Tattoo Ash Couture. This is also called Velvet Cream. Yeah, this is called Velvet Cream as well. Or Velvet Story. This is called Velvet Cream. So I have like similar formula. So let me take this thing off. I have Fenty Beauty's Hot Chocolate on my lips. A beautiful dark brown lip gloss. Gloss Bomb. It's usually there lip glosses don't really have a lot of like tint to them at least because my lips are darker as you can see it's like nice dark brown so it doesn't show on my lips but that dark brown is really dark and it shows on my lips and it just gives the most beautiful chocolatey finish so anyways this is the um packaging and it has like a slight slant there and it has h there and then the bottom has like a sticker that has a shade name indulge and you get tells you how much you get which is 3.6 grams of product and it says our glass here so let's watch indulge it's nice and like um i mean it's not exactly whipped personally i would not call this whipped simply because it is literally a cream i would say this is exactly a you know like a lipstick it's just lipstick itself to be honest if you take regular like s lipstick in a stick and if you like crush it and put it in this is what the consistency would be because i've never seen a liquid lipstick with such a thicker consistency so i'm just gonna that's a swatch you can see i'm just gonna put it on my lips this is a it is pretty thick guys I swear when you apply it you'd be a little surprised if you've used like liquid lipsticks before which I think most of us would have I'm telling you you'd be surprised by how thick this cream is it's like uh, this liquid lipstick is like 
so thick in consistency it really feels like it's like literal lipstick in there it, they took like lipstick and just like smashed it and put it in this packaging that's how thicker it is and as you can see it's kind of on the lighter side for me uh, I definitely need a lip liner or I shouldn't like apply I personally I'm sorry I personally would not apply this lipstick all over my lips just by itself it kind of washes me out I gotta say the consistency feels super super creamy uh, I checked the ingredients this product is loaded with silicone I think the first ingredient is dimethicone and then like the third ingredient is again something with the silicone in it and then the fifth ingredient again has dimethicone like there are so so much dimethicone in it so but it does not have the dry slip silicone feel it's actually very creamy and it does not dry out at all it actually stays really this this creamy consistency stays on the lips for a lot of time to be honest it just stays on the lips but for me i don't think this is like the right color as you can see it kind of washes me out kind of makes my lips kind of flat and does not give a shape at all i have very plumpy lips and you don't even see that plump at all it just looks kind of flat and uh, so I personally feel if you have dark skin you might need a lip liner I mean of course it's like completely um, your comfort level depends on your comfort level so for me I think I might need a lip liner or some darker like lipstick so if you have darker skin than me I think you definitely need a lip liner with this so indulge is a beautiful like a peachy toned uh, color yeah I wish it was a slightly darker so yeah so the other two lipsticks that I wanted to oh wait let me do a kiss test so it's been there now this product does not promise any kind of uh, being transfer proof or anything like that I'm just like saying it's just like a regular lipstick in like a melted or like crushed form that's what I'm going to say it's just literally lipstick just smashed and crushed and put it in a uh, you know like in, in a bottle or a tube like this because that consistency is really thick but it's actually it's it um, formula is actually opaque so you can easily spread it around and it's I mean you you saw you know it, it, it really went on really well it's very easy so let's do the quick kiss test really quick so there's that transfer not a lot but there is transfer definitely second and uh, let me come closer you can see there is actually still a lot of product on my lips actually there's a lot of product on my lips still a lot so yeah and i don't think this does not uh, cling to any dry patches it actually gives a really good finish very creamy very kind of semi matte kind of finish it's all in all i like the product it doesn't cling on to any dry patches it gives a very like finished look and it's actually opaque you're able to spread the product easily and that smoothness and the creaminess actually stays put on your lips it does uh, personally i wore this lipstick for like easily four or five hours and did not dry my lips at all it was pretty fantastic it's a really good formula something similar is uh ysl swift cream sorry velvet cream this one i got to say it's not as you you see the consistency difference it's not as creamy. this is more of a liquidy formula this is just like lipstick smashed and put it in you know what i mean this is more liquidy as you can see this one is actually staying power is pretty good not bad at all and this one is most closest to the hourglass because you can see this all this also has that creamy creamy consistency but still this what the consistency on the hourglass is much thicker much denser it's basically just like i said smashed lipstick they just smashed the lipstick and put it in this packaging but so the consistency is a little different i liked it but all in all it's a good product so don't forget to check out my tutorial after this and my rating on this product is an a plus it's really good the color i 
yeah i might need something darker to outline my list but otherwise it's a really good product if you're interested definitely give it a try and if you've already tried it tell me what you think if you like it or not so yeah hope this video was uh, this demo was a little bit helpful in helping you decide which what which and what you liked which shade you liked and yeah i will see you guys very soon bye bye guys let's get started with this eye i have some cleona series 2 iridescent shadows on the lid and for the matte shadows in the crease lower lash line i'm using the vizier's uh grande pro volume 3 palette so this is an all matte palette i want to create like a, a coral tones and then i thought i'd use this dark dark purple so let's see we don't have coral here so i'm going to be mixing some shadows the fuchsia and then some orange then a lot of yellow to basically warming up this pink mm, this is a little bit of cool tone just going to be making it a little bit warmer that's all i'm going to be doing so i'm just going to be mixing first the red and the orange and then i hate this packaging very sleek but this plastic sheet in between just comes in the way like anytime i want to create i'm sorry i mean i want to look at the mirror this always like stands in the way i know this does not look like coral at all but i'm just mixing the um orange and the pink i'm gonna be going in with the yellows now just a lot of yellows i'm just going to be mixing a lot of these yellows like there is like whole column full of yellows i'm just going to be mixing all of them and going to be adding it to i know but just wait and see and see how warm it turns it turns like into a super warm look at that it turned so warm like so coral vizier shadows are so so good look at that they just turn into a beautiful warm pink it's like a true coral shade right very pretty so that's it that's gonna be my transition shade and i'm gonna go in with this purple kind of a um same sh same brush shade and just gonna be working on my outer v just adding shadows that's it i don't want too much definition because it's not going to be too too dramatic it's not going to be too dramatic dark eye kind of situation you can see how bright and vibrant this eye is and i'm going to be going in with like a smaller brush and using the same darker shade and going on my lower lash line just a little bit like an eyeliner if you will to create that shape of my eye and then we're just gonna do the same i'm gonna be mixing in all these colors and kind of like going to buff out my this dark color I'm just gonna be mixing these two shades first and then going in also with that. I'm, I'm just gonna go mix all of them together <laughs> look at that i'm just mixing all of the shades i think i mix one two three four five i mix six eyeshadows all in one you see how beautiful that turns out look at that you see the coral look how magically it just transformed into a coral shade beautiful guys the formula is magic I'm telling you that is it i know there's some like stuck here but don't worry we'll get it all cleaned up that's basically all the matte work mark matte eyeshadow that i wanted to do it just looks so blended and so beautiful now we're just gonna go in with um metallic eyeshadows the one that i want to be using is this one just like a i thought this hang on what is it this is luxe 
This is called Lux. I'm sorry, I'm working with a different kind of lighting today, so I don't know if you can really see all the tones, but they're just like unbelievably good. So I'm going to be using, hang on, Lux, yes, that's Lux. And come out, come out, come out. This is Halo. That orangey, that fiery orange you see is Halo. I'm gonna be putting some Halo. I'm just using my finger. I'm gonna be putting Halo all over the lid. Not staying very precise. Just, just gonna be applying it all over the lid and even taking it a little bit up to the crease. You can see that gold shift, greenish gold shift. So that is Halo. And then just want to add Lux to it. Lux is just unbelievably great. It's like so yellow and then there's green and then there's even teal. I want it to be more like a diagonally applied and not like straight. There's a little bit of gap right there. I want to fill it with Halo. Now, just because I'm using my fingers doesn't mean brush doesn't work. These work really, really well with the brush as well. So I'm just being a little lazy and, and this is much quicker. Like honestly, with a brush, it takes a little bit of time for me to clean and pick up another brush and blah, blah, blah. So, but this is like so much quicker. So that's why I'm just using my finger. So that is it. That's basically what I did. Oh wait, the inner corner. That's like a hot, hot pink right there. I just don't remember what shade I used. Let me quickly check. What did I use for the inner corner highlighter? This is uh, Aura. Aura is like a stunning, 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 beautiful shade. That's Aura. Okay, for this, I'm going to be using my brush. I don't, this is some Anastasia brush. I'm going to be just dipping one, one corner. And I'm not going to be taking the inner corner highlighter to the lid at all. Just down here, just literally in the inner corner. You see that? Just right there. And then I'm bringing it down a little bit. I do not want the lid to have any pink at all i want all the hot pink to be down here that way you're able to see like a clear distinction between the fiery orange and all the warm tones and then the cool tones down here so i feel that distinction looks really good so that is basically is my look i'm gonna go and fix the eyeliner, then mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back. I did eyeliner, mascara, and this is basically my finished look. But we gotta do something for the cheeks. So I'm gonna be going in with Cover FX's, oh my gosh, so bright. Things are washing out. This is Monochromatic Blush Duo in the shade Warm Honey. I thought this like super warm, color would go really well with what I have on my eyes so I'm going to first go in just with a blush very very pretty the formula on these are unbelievably good just I'm telling you and then I'm going to go in again with the shot the like the shimmer side and just going to be using the same brush because I don't want to be too too precise and just a little bit of shimmer. Just tiny bit of shimmer and that is it. And we just need like a tiny bit of dusting of powder. I'm just gonna go with, with our glasses, radiant lighting powder. And just, this is just like a light dusting of powder just to clear the face that is it 
Oh, uh, on the lips, I'm sorry, I love this gloss so much that I've been wearing this the entire day. So I forgot to take it off in the beginning of the video. Uh, but what I have on is Fenty Beauty's Hot Chocolate. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, like chocolatey brown color. It's so, so beautiful. I just love it. I have a ton on my lips already, but it's a, this color is actually really dark and it kind of makes your lips so chocolatey and so sexy it looks so beautiful so that's what i have on my lips so this is this is a finished look hope you guys like this beautiful look i really enjoy the hot pink and that's so, such like warmth on the lids give this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and also subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys very soon Bye bye